Disclaimer, do not be stupid enough to not ask help from an adult to use dangerous materials if you're underage. We ain't responsible for any accidents. Enjoy. I mean, be careful. Welcome to another episode of Creative World. Today, it's pretty dark actually. But you know what appears most in the dark night? The dark night. This idea came from YouTube commenter Luang Dang. Thank you Luang Dang. I hope you're excited to watch this video. Or if you watch this video at all. So before the real Bruce Wayne loses fate in Gotham, here are the materials you'll need for this project. A ton of carton, a cape or a black blanket, duct tape, black acrylic paint, laundry clips, and scissors and cutters. <laughs> okay guys, to start it off, we are going to get uh, strips of the carton. We are going to cut off strips, it doesn't matter what the size is. And then we are going to do the hardest part, which is uh, shaping the head. So you're gonna need a mirror to look at yourself. I have a mirror here. And then you have to ready the duct tape so when you put the, the strips on your head, you can just tape it immediately. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the strips, put it on our head to shape it, and then tape them together in this position. There's one up here, and then there's one in the sides. It's like an electric chair head thing that fries your brain. Alright, so we start in the forehead, going to the sides. Make sure you know which is the one with the forehead, so like mark it down if you want. Move it. Move it to the side. There we go. Then tape it together. Alright, so I needed more tape, so I just taped it more. So we're gonna take another one and do it on the other side too. Now, here we go. That works, huh? So the next thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut this part, the part behind the ear, if you can see it in the mirror. We're gonna cut that part on the other side too, so we can bend it across going to the neck. You mark it, so you remember where the part where it's behind the ear. Put it back in your forehead. And then make it go down to the back of your neck. Do you see this? So this position is good. This position. Take the tape. Take it right there. And there we go. Now you do it on the other side too. There we have it. Now there. Now we are going to connect these parts on the back of the neck. These parts. Where it goes there. And then we're gonna tape it right there. I hope you can see it because I look like a moron doing that. Now make sure the position is right and then tape it from the back. Oh, there we have it. Now we're going to do a strip right over here. There we go. We got it. Now, we're going to take shorter strips and then we're going to put it in the sides uh, by our cheeks. We're, need gonna, we're gonna need this so it goes behind the ears and back to the carton behind the ears. There we go. Now we're gonna put a strip across the nose. Right there. Like my nose is broken and there's a band-aid on it. There we go, there we go. It looks like this when it's finished. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it up with more carton, but it doesn't make it harder. It makes it actually easier because there's already the shape there, so we just have to cover it up more. Now it's time to do the easy part. But before we do that, first we are going to connect a strap over your over the top part and on the sides you can actually do this while it's still on your head but it's really hard to do that so I'll just do it on this table now you can test it on your head if it fits then if it does now you can cover it with big pieces of carton so kind of bend the big piece of carton and then shape it all over now mark the parts you want to fix I want to fix this, so I get this. One fourth of the top of the head. So I take that, cut it out, and then attach it. 
There we go. One part is covered, now do the other side. Now you can see it's done, so we're gonna do the sides now. The sides are easy, they're just walls and no need any curving. Well, it kinda needs curving, but not a lot. Off. Now do the same on the other side. Now, as that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is the nose. Now you see, I've kind of marked the nose right here where it goes. This one covers until the ends here. It covers that part. And you need to cover that part with a cardboard piece. So you take a big one, draw kind of uh, something that looks like this. So it goes between the nose. This is the nose. This is the nose, and this is go gonna go between. Now we're gonna put it there, and then attach it like that. Now to make the eyes look perfect, cut out a uh, carton shape like this, like a little L, and then attach it to the eyes. Here, like this. Now basically, you just make a normal looking L, L-shaped carton and then just shape it on this part the corner of the right the right corner of the eye or the left corner of the eye if it's the right eye there you go it's perfect now do it on the other side there we go now you test it on your face Okay, now as you can see, if you, if you turn it around, the back is not uh, kind of finished and that's okay, I did it on purpose because that is where this goes. This is a big piece of carton and then we're gonna attach it there to go down the neck of Batman. And just for your information, Batman is you. So again, we are going to get the right shape and then we are going to cut that out and not this. We don't cut this out because that goes on the neck. Okay. Now for the neck, as it goes down the neck, it does a little curve here, but not a big curve, just a small curve like that, and then you cut that off. And now for the final touch, we are going to put bat ears on. Now the bat ears are attached by the back of the head, so it's basically going to be here, this is the spot, and here now we are going to draw a bit of a giant rectangle like that depends on how big your helmet is and it's gonna bend in the middle over there now let's cut that out now you bend it in the middle Ooh. there we go Make sure the bend is perfect. And then tape it. If it's too short, make it longer. Make a new pieces of ear and make those longer for a test. And now the last thing you do for the head is you paint it black. Now as you're thinking we're done painting so we're finished, no we ain't! We've still got this! Now you take another another set of strips from the carton and then we're not going to do it on the head now. Now we are going to do it on the chin. See the part of the head and the chin is separ separated so you won't get choked out when you're wearing the mask. So anyway we start on it by putting a strip under your chin. About this goes up to your cheek like, the, like this. <laughs> well anyway. We are not going to connect it by here. We are, we are going to connect it by the back of the neck. So we're gonna tape these together like this. It's going to look sort of like this. This is the chin, all right? And... Ah. Ah. All right, now we're gonna connect it. Actually, put more tape because it won't stick. Here we go. Well, anyway.
anyway, as you realize it, it's pretty stuck and you can't put it out. So we are just gonna continue it. Get another strip, stick it back there, and then we stick it up just right on the side. Ow. Going down on the neck, right there. We're gonna get another one, put it on the other side. Alright, now you take another strip, you put a tape on it and attach it on each end on the bottom of your neck, by the way. And another one. Uh huh. Okay. Alright, now you can cut off the part in the back. Ow, oh, it's really there. Oh. There we go. <laughs> and then you hold this shape by taping it together when it's off your neck. And then we are going to attach a bended piece of strip on the neck part. Now this is the neck, this is what it looks like on me. It's going to be there. So I'm going to put uh, one here. Alright, there we go. <laughs> now when you put it back together, the next step you're going to do is cover these parts. So we're going to shape it. And then cut it out. Get the perfect shape, tape it, now that's good eh? Now the next thing you do is you cover the chin part up with a little thing that looks like, sort of looks like a smile, but not a smile. Or if it makes it easier for you, it looks like a banana. And then you put it there, on the chin part, and tape it. And now, for the final touches, you cut out parts that look like this. I'll draw it for you. Sort of goes like this. And this. It looks like this. So you cut that out, and I'm gonna use it for the other side. It's supposed to go like this each side the pointy the pointy end is facing that way facing that way so we tape it okay now you do it to the other side there we go okay so to get the neck piece to attach to the batman head you have to have you have to get the little strips and then cut it in smaller pieces and cut cut the cut the edges into curves so you can slip to the mask and then the next thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna cut this part off because that is gonna get in the way of getting in the mask so you cut that off and just fix it with tape now you always test if it fits with the mask and if it fits that's when you paint it with black now if you're thinking we're done who the hell told you that no we're not so here we are, I got a big piece of carton. Now you take the neck piece and you squeeze it into whatever your neck size is. And then when it's that, you mark it down. So you get that right. Then you draw sort of a uh, Y. And then there's a line in between. Now you just cut it out, obviously. Now you test it on your neck. And if it fits pretty good, you tape it on. Now try it on. Now if that fits, the next step we're gonna do is that we're gonna take a big piece of carton and then we're gonna cover up these parts until the end over here. Covering these like this. Okay, so here we go. We're going to take this and then attach it in there. And then do the same on the other side. Now, if you're thinking, how are we going to get the cape stuck in here? Well, the thing is, we are going to cut holes by right here and right here. And then the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna tape it all around so it doesn't break. So it doesn't just break whenever it wants. Okay, now you're gonna take the laundry clips and then tape it with duct tape about right here 
Now only tape one side so you can still move the other. Now tape it here. Alright. The other side. Now you can test it and if it works, you paint it all around it black again. Okay, punks, let's play dress up. See, I got the cape attached to it now. So the first thing you do when you do this, when you wear this, is that you put the cape in. And then you steady it, make sure the cape is in the back. And then you then, and then you put the mask in. Put the mask behind your shirt, inside the mat, inside the cape. Make sure it's not facing out. Ah, and then fit it in. <laughs> now this is the hard part. Sticking the chin part to the face. But once you but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. See? Just like that. I'm Batman. Thank you for watching this Batman related creative world episode. And don't forget to suggest more things for me to make in the comments below. 